this is this is a uh, twenty thirty New Year joy. I've been in New Year vibes. New Year. when I, I had this challenge of like little challenges that, that tried to move me, I still had that sense of peace in the midst of it. Good morning guys, it's another beautiful day. Please pardon my voice, it's cracked because of the weather. So yeah, but I just wanted to quickly show you guys, just talk about what I want to do for reset this year, last year. Um, self-care was okay but one of the things I neglected was my hair so my hair is healthy it is thick it is thick but I've not been able to retain length for you for a while for some years so my hair grows grows normally but the issue is to retain the length when I have new growth this year I've decided come what's me I'm going to focus on length retention on my hair. So I got a few products that I think will help me to that. The reason why I've not been able to keep the length on my hair is because of breakage. So I got a deep conditioner that will help me strengthen my hair. This is the Mega Growth Mega Growth Deep Conditioner Anti Breakage Strengthen Restore Re Repair. Yes, Mega Growth and all these products here they smell so nice they are so so nice take a look this is cream yep this has a creamy consistency it's it's white it's no cream color and it smells so good it smells so good i tried this conditioner for the first time deep conditioner for the first time last year and this is the this is the mega good leave-in strengthener Yes, strengthen, say it's break free, strengthen, restore, repair. So I just wanted anything to strengthen, restore, and repair my hair. That's why I got the Mega Goods, these two from the Mega Goods line. 
and this 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 uh, living conditioner is so light my go-to conditioner used to be Cantu. I'm trying not to bend it too much because it's light and it could spill. It smells so good too. It smells so good. But for a while, Cantu, my Cantu living conditioner has not been working so well with my hair. So I decided to get something new. This mega good uh, living conditioner. I did not get a shampoo or a conditioner, normal conditioner. My black soap. I use it for baiting and I also use it to wash my hair. I started using this thing last year because I tried to get the one I'm, I, the particular brand I use but I couldn't get that so I tried this. I tried it one day to wash my hair with it and it felt so good. My hair was soft. That's without conditioner. You know how you use a conditioner, how your hair feels after you've conditioned the hair or after you shampoo and use a conditioner, how your hair feels. This was what this, this, um, this black suit that's how it made my hair feel like I used a conditioner. So I, I, as I noticed that this was a conditioning black suit, I said, no more shampoo for me. I stopped buying shampoo. I've, I've stopped buying shampoo for a long time. This is what I use as my shampoo. I'll use this as my conditioner. Yes, deep conditioner as my conditioner. And then I use a leave-in. I have some oils. I have carrot oil and I have, um, I think it's almond oil. Yeah almond oil i wanted to get castor oil but i couldn't get the castor oil but i'll get that later so how i intend to use this product when i started my hair hair journey my natural hair journey this was what i used to do i used to do a pre-pull the night before then the night before wash day so i'm going back to those things i did that worked for me i'll do a pre-pull with um aloe vera fresh aloe vera and the oils leave it in my hair overnight then the next day i wash i wash with the black soap condition do a deep condition the treatment after i've washed with the black soap maybe for like 30 minutes before i wash it out then i put i put the leave in when i'm done and then i use the oils to seal i'm supposed to use um this ori that's a uh, shea butter yeah shea butter as my hair butter but i couldn't get i want to do a mixture of um of shea butter and um, cocoa butter and cocoa butter the last time i did i used i used as my body butter too so what i'm trying to do is to to be able to anything i'm using for my hair i should be able to use it on my body because if your what you're using for your hair is not good for your body your body may start having reactions so instead of trying to do multiple things i just decided okay i can do all of it have one particular thing that is that has multiple functions yes so the other things i use for my hair i've been using this one this is the echo styler professional styling gel olive oil there are other um echo styler the ones i tried before did not work properly for my hair only this olive oil one worked for my hair this olive oil one worked for my hair and um this is also echo styler um professional conditioning styling and shining gel this is an edge control it says 48 hour edge control yeah but it's our edge control this works very well and it does not leave any white residue on your hair even if i do a double coating a triple coating i still don't get any white residue i don't, I don't know what they did with this and it smells really good too all my hair products smell really good i think this is what these hair people are doing so that people will continue to buy their product because they smell so nice and another thing i want to do is also to take care of my nails I don't fix my nails often my my i usually have my natural nails for most of the time <coughs> in the year i think last year is only once i fixed my nails yes yeah, so i got this uh, manicure and pedicure brush i mean i used to have one before but i it got bad and for a long time i could not find this anywhere i couldn't find it anywhere i saw this recently in one of the departmental stores i, I go to I said, oh, I have to get this. I went back for it and I'm happy I have it. I I wish I had even gotten two, two of it just to have a spare one in case anything happens. Saying that, uh, I'll go and get another one just to to be safe. And this works so well. I should just lift it up and show you what I'm talking about. So instead of holding it back. Yeah. Okay, okay. So this is it. So you have this tone part. You know, most times people use some stone-like stuff to brush their foot. Yes, this is this is what it comes with. Then this is the brush. You use the brush to brush up your nails or anything. This this rough metallic part 
it's also for scrubbing your foot under your foot and then this can also this can smoothen it after you're done with this and there's a file that you can use for your nails and uh, you just won't pack it like i like the fact that it's not uh, it's just in one piece like this anything that i want that i have to do that will be that will be cumbersome i just don't want it because i'll get tired of it along the way so i just said to get i wanted something simple that i know at all times that i can have <coughs> quickly even if I, I want to travel or anything this is something i can carry easily you know so these are the products i i got that i'll be using for my self-care for this year anybody that knows me know that i'm the high bone person my hair is always in in high bone and <coughs> My hair is always in a high bun. Like I said last year, I think I only made my hair once or twice last year. But this year, I, I'm going to do a lot of protective styling. Like I'm going to be making my hair a lot. I don't want, I would not be leaving my hair out as much as I used to, so that it will help me retain length. I remember when I was seven, one of the things that I I noticed that made me have a lot of good like retain the length that I did in that year was because my hair was always in a protective style like not always but most mostly in a protective style so uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of braids um, normal cornrows unless the cornrows are big then it's okay for my if it's the small types my it breaks my hair a lot so I, I try to avoid that so if I'm going to do cornrows maybe to wear a wig or something it has to be um, the ones that are both like big enough for me to easily take them out my hair is quite fine like it's thin is thin it's not very thick so sometimes it's if it's not handled carefully it can it can get damaged easily so that's it for my hair care next thing i'll be doing now is to go and make my hair i need to make my hair as soon as possible i observed something recently about putting my hair in a bun that made me decide that i should stop doing that you know when you when you put your hair in a bun and you tie you use the the your whatever you're using to tie your hair and you you pull you see that pulling effect it affects your scalp i did not know recently i touched my scalp and i ex i noticed that there were folds in the middle of my hair folds in the middle of my hair i wish i could open up my hair and show you what i'm talking about but i can't but they are full even right now i can feel the folds in the middle of my hair and i notice it's because i'm always pulling my hair and it's so tight when i do that so that i have a smooth top so because of that i said no 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 this year i did not like how, how it felt i said no this year i now what i do is i i, I try to massage my hair once i remove the, the when i remove that uh, silk wrap i have on my hair i, I try to massage my hair as <coughs> as often as I can to help reduce those faults that they I know that like, it's not permanent but I just didn't like it when I noticed it so that's one thing I'm cutting out from my head so I'll do less of the high bun this year than I've ever done before. So see you guys in the salon bye so guys I finally made my hair so this is what my hair looks like let me turn around so you can see it gets up to my waist. Yep. Down here. Yeah. I hope you can see. So what's left is for me to do my nails here. Yeah. To do my nails. And my toenails. And my toenails. Yep. See my toenails. To do that. Another thing I'm also going to be doing is to make sure I make it clothes for myself. Because another thing I'm going to be doing this year. Is it it's gonna be a rich anti vibe kind of year you know yeah that's it that's the vibe i'm going for this year so making clothes for myself as much as i can because it's not only for clients that we're making clothes for we have to make clothes for ourselves fashion designers have to wear clothes you know that's it the clothes that I, I plan to make since december i still did not make it i had to make something else but i still want to make that clothes i still want to make that clothes i hope that i can do it that's uh, because i have other clothes that i've started and i've not finished myself you see what we go through you see what we go through but this year is a different year i promise it's a different year all those clothes that i started last year that i did not finish i'll finish it this year amen <laughs>
so it's later on in the evening and i'm about to have my dinner this is actually the first meal i'm having in the day i've been fasting and it's time to break the fast this year i'm very intentional about what i eat what i'm going to be eating this is boiled plantains with eggs and veggies i'm keeping it simple and healthy at this point i'm just looking for how to take good pictures of this food that's all <laughs> I'm going out today. So this is my fit. I made this dress a while ago. I decided to wear it today to go out. I I want to do some uh, there's something I want to do. I'm not going to mention it, but you guys will see it in the future. In the future. Yeah. In the future. What exactly I'm going for. But for now, I'm going out. <laughs> so guys as you can see i'm here on a date and it was going really really fine i had a nice time i'll be ending this vlog here thank you all for watching have a lovely year ahead see you in the next vlog